back to the channel infinity family or welcome to the channel if you're new t infinity 2 t infinity here back again with another message for you <clears throat> so this morning we're going to be taking a look into the energy for divine feminine this is going to be for divine feminine we're just going to take a look into a check-in for divine feminine and see look at that did y'all see that this whole thing just came off so last night i was getting some type of irritating energy some aggravated energy i was getting like um somebody is dead ass still trying to control you if you go to my channel t infinity a year ago you may see some videos that's resonating with you because i just took a look on that channel and i had a new subscriber on my old channel well it's not really old but it's my channel that i don't really post on anymore so um shout out to whoever whoever subscribed to that channel i don't even know if you know about my new channel or not but um this is general it's not going to resonate with everybody but if it resonates with you hit that thumbs up Hit that bell and subscribe. So like I was saying before, I was getting this energy of somebody trying to still control your life. Somebody still trying to cause you aggravation, headache, strife, um, trying to cause you imbalances. This person is trying to um, <clears throat> confuse you and make you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to do or that um your life is not the way that it's supposed to be on the other hand this person's life is in shambles this person um is not stable this person is not um stable emotionally this person is not stable physically this person is not stable mentally okay sorry about that that was an interruption i had to take that call but um I was saying that I hope that all is well and I was saying that I was getting this energy of feeling aggravated because somebody is still wanting to control different aspects of you in different aspects of your life because you're moving forward in your life all right so without further ado let's get into this message for you we're going to be starting off with this deck right here this is angel wisdom tarot deck and what did we cut it on right here? The Ten of Pent. So this is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree. And passing on knowledge. So this is the energy that you're in right now. That's what I'm seeing here. And then this is the energy that you're in as well. Three of Cups. So you can be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo I'm speaking to, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this card says, a new worth celebrate, a news worth celebrating. So you might get some news um, that's worth celebrating, Divine Feminine. Joyful announcements like engagements, wedding, pregnancy, or graduation. So somebody can be graduating, you could be pregnant or getting engaged. A time for gratitude, close communities, or chosen family. So somebody could be feeling like they want to control certain aspects of your life, 143 on this clock, because you have love from your family and you have a lot of support from different people in your life when it comes to your children, when it comes to you, and then when it comes to your legacy. You are peaceful and content. Somebody in your life is not. Somebody that... Um, wishes they could have the life that you live that's what i'm hearing here divine feminine i think i'm playing two of cups because you have a beautiful home and you have somebody that the angels have sent to you to love you and then it's just a matter of time before you actually really fall in love that's what i'm seeing here falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship somebody is jealous of the fact that you have true love that's what i'm hearing here this person doesn't have love Whoever this energy is that's in your energy that I'm feeling that is jealous. They don't have true love. They have, look, Ten of Pentacles. They know that you have true love and the Ten of Pentacles. And they, they don't. 
They don't have that. Look, and they know that you've healed the star card. So let's go ahead and get into this energy so we could find out who is this. This is who it is, Divine Feminine, the Emperor. Came out already. Logic and organization will increase you your success. So you are logical in in life in in thinking. <clears throat> you have organizational skills. This emperor knows that, and you could be in the emperor energy. You could actually be in the emperor energy. But this is who I'm seeing here that is trying to control your life because they want to be basically in charge or in control of everything. 3.33 on this clock. Okay, so if this message is resonating with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. My friend makes these candles. This is called Jael's Essentials. Jael, and these candles are beautiful. They smell beautiful. And for the August giveaway, I'm going to be giving away some candles from Jael. And if you like candles, then comment so you can win the giveaway and if this message is resonating with you go ahead and stick around if not check out my other channel t infinity or you can check out your sun moon rising and being inside on this channel t infinity too all right so let's go ahead and see here most i is telling me not to start with this deck most i is telling me to start off with the sacred geometry deck so we'll start off with this deck Archangels, Holy Spirit, thank you. Archangel Michael, protect me as well. And look what pop, y'all. Look. Universal love, 44. So, and look, it is 444 on this clock right now. 444. You are in the frequency of universal love. And that activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence. So, you have universal love. You are in the in frequency of universal love, divine feminine. Look, this is no lie, Divine Feminine. And then I tell you it was something about somebody that wants to control something because you find in true love. Look at this love triangle. This is a triangle. Somebody wants to cause some conflict with somebody that they know truly loves you and that you can, um, I'm hearing, um, grow with. You can grow with. You have graduated from um, an infant now, from a toddler, from an adolescent, from a teen to an adult. You have graduated step by step by step by step, and not just in your physical, in your mental, your mentality, in the spiritual realm. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Divine Feminine, hit that bell. You have graduated from an infant to a toddler, to um, an adolescent, to a teen, to an adult now. And for some of you, you are old souls. That's what I'm hearing here. That's why you have universal love because you've been here more than once. And you are on your purpose and on your mission, Divine Feminine. The frequency of Divine Feminine. So those are cicadas. If anybody's wondering, like, what does that sound? Those are called cicadas. Look those up if you want to know. Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly in helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all creation. So you are aware of your connection to the whole. You are aware of what you bring to the table, Divine Feminine. You are aware of what you're able to do. You're um, very, very powerful in manifestation that's what i'm hearing here and somebody is having a powerful realization that you are magical somebody is having a powerful realization that you are magical magic realization and it's this divine masculine okay yes because look you created miracles in your life right in front of people's eyes. So that's what I'm hearing here. This is a timeless message. So whenever you see this is when you're supposed to see it. And whenever you click on this, this is when Most High is trying to give you this message. Okay? Because you are magical. You are in the frequency of universal love. You work in a dynamic with two people or more. And you have true love that's coming towards you. Okay? Which is a miracle. And somebody knows that. 
and somebody knows that. And let me show y'all what else is on this deck because I shuffled this deck. Let me show y'all what else, Divine Feminine. Your belief is very strong in God. And somebody knows that. Somebody knows that eight on this clock, you have found your true person for infinity. Somebody has found that and they want to communicate. They want to communicate with you te telepathically. That's what I'm hearing here. This person wants to communicate. Think I'm playing, yo, crown chakra. Somebody wants to communicate with you telepathically. They do. They do because their perception of you has changed and they know that you are powerful. They're having a realization that you manifest miracles in your life. They also have the um, realization that you communicate with higher beings. You communicate with source. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. And they know that you have a strong connection to source, okay? And they know that you communicate with source each and every day. Crown chakra energy. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmit negative energy into light. 9-11 on this clock. And this is what you have learned how to do. This is exactly what you have learned how to do. So... We're going to get into each and every single one of these. Okay. We're going to clarify with the tarot. We was going to use the... Okay. Most I say no. Use the wisdom of the um, angel tarot. And you can clarify each and every single one of these that Most I has shown us. Somebody knows that your belief in God is very strong. They do not want you to believe in God, yo. They don't. They don't want you to believe in God. But you do, Divine Feminine. Yeah, because you're sensitive. You could be a water sign. You could live by the beach or you could live by the water. It says sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social in invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities, 10, 10 on this clock. So this is how this person may, makes you feel. I feel like this is a masculine. So most high, why did you show us universal love? Why did you show us? I saw 1010 on this clock too, so you could have been seeing 1010 for some of you. Why did you show us this universal love for divine feminine? Because you broke your ego. You broke out of your ego, divine feminine. You are no longer operating out of your ego, okay? And doesn't this look like <laughs> you being blindfolded? You being blindfolded. Somebody didn't want you to realize that you could do this, that you were that powerful. But you broke them chains. You broke them chains. Do you see that? The illusion of being trapped. <clears throat> Accept responsibility for your situation. And then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habit. So you have left addictions alone. You have move to the path of happiness you could be a capricorn doesn't have to be but this is why you have universal love now all right yeah you could be a queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio it says loving compassionate psychic so you are a psychic like i told you self-sacrificing deep psychic insight deep psychic insight so Caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition. So don't forget to take care of yourself, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm seeing here. Even though you are nurturing and loving, put yourself first before anybody else. Even if you have children, you put yourself first. You don't let nobody tell you that you put yourself before anybody else. Okay? Yeah, look. Stand up for yourself and believe have confidence, challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. And with this blue here on, this is giving me heavy communication with the red around it, which is giving me passion. And this is the seven of wands. So even though people could be coming at you, you see how it's cloudy back here? Stand up for yourself, Devon Feminine. And you do. You stand up for yourself because you are intelligent and you're very quick witted. That's what I'm hearing here. Socially cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career promotions or scholarships. A new area of study. 
so divine feminine you like i said you working with someone or a group of people in a new study in a new career in a new endeavor and you have been promoted or if you haven't you will why did you show us this dynamic why did you show us the dynamic here wow all right because somebody does not want you to walk through these gates they don't they don't want you to walk through these gates because you are putting together a reality that is made up of many different elements and many different people and many different ideas and because you are doing this this is what you're creating a lot of abundance you see all of this around here all these bricks all these flowers and stuff around this bricks some a situation that was very hard for you you are overcoming it because somebody was doing magic on you somebody was doing magic on you divine feminine so that you can be in poverty so that you can be homeless so that you can be in poverty so you can have negative thoughts to try to kill yourself so you can have negative thoughts and um <clears throat> manifest them that's what the, that's what somebody wanted because they did not want you to have um this Ten of Pentacles that I showed you before. And because they want a renewal. They want to reunite with you. This is somebody I feel like from your past. Reviewing the past, like I said, with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. And your archangels are guiding you in a new direction. Because like I said, somebody was doing magic on you. Okay? Third party situation so that you can be bound at Eight of Swords. But you're not. And so you can be in poverty. Five of Pentacles, but you not, and so that you, so they could reunite with you, renewal, but you not. You moving on to a new path. You moving on to a new beginning because they wanted you to be in a ten of, the ten of sword. They wanted you to be in a ten of wands, feeling heavy and burdened on your path to happiness, and they wanted you to be in confusion, but you're not because you're steadily working on your craft. And seeking wise counsel, divine feminine. Okay? Eight of Pentacles to the wise counsel. So that's why this third, um, that this why this dynamic is here. So why did you um show us this most high realization? Why did you show us the realization, please, for divine feminine? Because you realizing. That all these, this says opportunities. I know you can't really see it, but this is a boat in the sky. When do boats fly? Come on now. And you see that full moon? That means anything is possible, Divine Feminine. And you're having a powerful realization about that. Planning for long term. This is what you're doing. Abundance from the past choices that you have made is what you're receiving, Divine Feminine. Some of you could love yellow. Some of you can love red. Some of you can be embodying the Isis energy right now, okay? The goddess Isis. You could be embodying this energy. You could live by water. You can walk on a pier. But this is saying that pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. So this is what you're doing, Divine Feminine. You're, do you're deciding what's next in your life, Okay? Yeah, because somebody, like I said, want to cause conflict. And this is what I said in the beginning of this message. And we're we going to get on out of here because we're going to clarify some of these, I feel like, in a new message. But we're going to clarify this magic now. And we're going to clarify this communication. Okay? You have the belief in the Most High God. Your crown chakra is illuminated because you are psychic. And you are manifesting miracles in your life, Divine Feminine. Stay, part, stay tuned for part two because we're going to go over the rest of these in part two, but I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, we're going to clarify this conflict because, like I said, you're having a powerful realization that somebody is trying to cause a conflict in your life. All right, let's see what this is. Most high, why did you show us this conflict here with the realization? It says, seven of swords. Somebody is being goddamn sneaky with mirror magic. You see all these mirrors? Somebody's being sneaky with the mirror magic. It says, walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. So somebody, there's people in your life that is ambitiously trying to destroy your life. Yes, they are. But you cutting their asses off, queen of swords. Or this could be the person that's trying to um, destroy your life. 
Look, 1111, because you really found your true, your true flame. And they want you to feel burdened, Ten of Wands. And I already showed you that in the other deck, didn't I? I sure did. Because you have chosen your path. That's why. And So, why else did you show us this uh, Five of Wands here, Most High, please? For the realization. This person from your past. And then I tell you that this is the person from your past. It sure is. Because they are immature. And they still want you back. But this fell over here. This could be a cancer for some of you. Doesn't have to be. But they want to come towards you with an apology after they being sneaky. Because they know that you have a powerful realization that you get your good news. And that they want to cause conflict into your life. Okay, so I hope this message resonated with you. Let's pull something from the angel answers before we close this up. And like I said, this is a timeless message, Divine Feminine. So whenever you see this, this is when it's meant for you to see. This situation with this masculine is unlikely. It is. Because they want to cause communicate. They want to cause problems to you. They do. Look, it's a no with the exclamation point. It's a no for this masculine. Yeah, most I said, and listen to your intuition. All right, if you like to book a personal reading, my information is below. Take actions on all your new endeavors, and I love you lots, and I'll see you in my next video.